It's currently uh, five in the morning here. Um, packing up. The only thing we need now is a big bag of ice. <laughs> uh, we're headed up to um, through the King of Mangas, North Conway, cutting over into Maine that way. So uh, enjoy the ride, and we'll see you at Acadia. We uh, finally pulled up to Blackwoods Campground in Acadia National Park. Uh, let's set up camp for the day. a.m. and breakfast time. Spam and hash is a very cheap and easy breakfast. And just like that, you have a delicious breakfast. Some may hate it, some may love it. So we took uh, one of the island explorers down to downtown Bar Harbor and right on the uh, pier where they do all the whale watching and all the ferries.
All right, so good thing that we booked um, two really good campsites because there's boulders in like, what would you say? Probably get 70% of them. Literally and, right in the front. Yeah, like we're smacked. Like it would be hard to like park really anything over a, a car size with it. And obviously with us needing to access the hatch and, you know, um, just wouldn't work. So luckily we uh, lucked out and now exploring the rest of this island because we don't know where we're going and we're just exploring. <laughs> Nonetheless, the, uh, the ocean is absolutely incredible. Yeah, this is, uh, this is insane. I mean, how far up it goes when it's a uh, high tide. It's just, it's, it's incredible to me. We just arrived back up at camp. Got to start a fire. Um, <laughs> Jordan Pond House. Very, very, very pricey. For what it's worth. There's not many. I mean, unless you like seafood, which I know a lot of people watching will be like, you're in Maine. How could you not like seafood? I don't like seafood. She doesn't like seafood. So unless you're obsessed with lobster, which a lot of people are. Um, I don't... I don't see the hype. The popovers were good, but for the price of it, especially on a foggy day, which I know obviously that's not their fault, I, I personally do not recommend the Jordan Pond now. A little update of the tent though. Sick. Again, I highly recommend this model for anyone looking for a uh, budget friendly clam style house. Comes with a super, super bright LED. And this is what the inside looks like. You got a screen, like I, I went over, and then you have, uh, mine's tucked in, but obviously you have the same style mesh to put down if you don't want it. She doesn't like her side open, uh, due to how the camp is set up, um, so that's down, but all around you can have it closed like that. Um, if you have a tablet, it fits perfectly right there when you're laying right there and you can watch a movie. It's, uh, super, super spacious campsite is very nice I highly recommend the Blackwoods campground now uh let's make a let's make a fire and see what tomorrow brings I kind of forgot to film the rest of the day yesterday. Um, we did move campsites this morning. Have it set up because we're actually headed to Sand Beach right now. Hoping it's not too, too busy. So it's like actually reasonable. But um, if you made it this far in the video, continue. Because I promise I'm going to actually continue to film more. We are currently at Sand Beach and it is beautiful, honestly. This fog rolled in in a matter of like 30 minutes. But I gotta tell you, it is 
beautiful. Well, Morgan just found a hermit crab to be able to focus. This is the loop road of Acadia, and this is Otter Point right off of it. There's a bunch of different stops you can stop right off the loop road. Do you have one of these graders? The split side is great for spuds or chips. A lot of people call them different names. It obviously works with anything, really. you have a nice fire. Tonight we're probably just going to enjoy a fire and start tomorrow. We're probably going to do the uh, Jordan Pond hike around, uh, well, obviously Jordan Pond. We're uh, thinking about doing the bubble trail too. It's uh, basically a giant boulder just balancing over a, a cliff. But uh, yeah, so see you tomorrow.
I decided to film this part because we were literally racing for the ace here. She was three behind. She had six and I only had three. And now she caught up somehow. <laughs> you can go. I always think the fours are aces. I know. <gasps> no what is my what is my card? Oh my god. No. How? No way. Hate that game. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping video does justice of how steep this is. Okay, we're going to uh, Scudic Point. Um, it's about an hour and a half if you drive. There is a ferry over there, but we just didn't decide to um, take that because there's a couple other things we want to do, like uh, possibly see a lighthouse and go to Tidal Falls Preserve so someone can see a starfish. I'm doing a quick voiceover uh, here in this segment because uh, I realized I had forgotten to close out that uh, section of video that day. Um, what we did that day is we went to the Scudic Peninsula, then we came back down to um, Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse, and then we headed back to the campground um, for our last night, unfortunately. Um, we really did have a good time, and uh, the next clip will show you that. One more thing, um, if you do enjoy these videos, again, I'm still learning how to film as I'm going along with things, um, but basically this channel is going to be all about uh, rooftop tenting, uh, like overlanding. Um, not only just that, but almost on like a budget. Don't get me wrong, I'll splurge on a couple things, but I personally have fun with the things that we have like a lot of my actually not a lot like almost everything other than the tent and the car itself was uh gifted to us um it just shows that you don't need everything nice to have a good time the canopy that i'm under right now is my father's he gifted it to us um well bar let us borrow it i should say um the the coleman stove that i've been cooking on he gave that to us um camp table that um i've been using uh uh, mom and stepdad gave to us stuff like that um, so if, if that interests you obviously please consider subscribing um, along with if you just like any of like the camp cooking videos traveling um, our goal is to be hitting a lot of national parks national forest overall camping um, even if I'm not at uh, a trademarked place doesn't mean I'm not gonna still go camping and make videos in my local woods and whatnot so um, please consider liking the videos and subscribing for uh, future videos